Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Up here high on some big, big south slopes and I'm doing some shed hunting with my buddy. And actually by now, by the time this goes up, not only my buddy, but the new Hush employee, Martin. He's up the hill, I can barely see his head pushing through some oak, but we came up here to look for sheds and there's really a chance to find deer, uh, so mule deer, elk, and or even moose paddles at this elevation. Anything can happen, but with the high snow levels this year, I'm guessing it's either gonna be straggler elk or big moose paddles or any size moose paddles really, but should be a fun video. We're up here on this big south slope. And after I posted the last few shed videos, a lot of people asked, why do you focus on the south slope? So south facing slopes are always melted off the fastest they produce the most heat the sun is on them the most which will expose the feed the best for wintering deer elk or moose and not only can they just get around much better on the south slopes they can access feed and food and forage and browse and grass whatever whatever animal but they can feed much better on these south slopes so because of that they spend a lot of time feeding on the slopes like this and that is where the majority of their antlers are shed. They're very active when they're feeding and that typically seems to be where they shed most of their antlers. So that's what we're doing up here on some south slopes. I'm gonna bomb up this thing up and over to the next canyon and see if we can turn something up. But I think with, with a lot of hard work and a lot of luck, I think we can find a moose shed today. That's kind of my goal. Let's see if we can make it happen. Guys, we have good news. Good news just came over the radio. M Chag Life found the first shed of the day and he says it's brown i'm pretty sure i'm not for sure but i'm pretty sure it's a moose shed he sounded pretty pumped so i told him to give me a minute and i'll come come over there but now now i'm motivated i mean i was motivated but now i'm just like scanning everything just like i want to find one let's go see what he found i walked this exact patch hauling tracks when i came in here in the winter so he either he must have shed before or after I came in here. Or, I mean, with all the snow, you think... Or it could have been, been buried, buried, but I, I walked the tracks pretty well. <laughs> but, dude, he's, he looks pretty decent. Let's go take a look. Right there. Oh, oh dude! Just came around Is that foot. cool or what? He, like, he's pretty decent looking. Oh, so I hit all this bush right here. Really? I walked right here. That's insane. And what a cool find. Guys, it's stuck in the mud. <laughs> Holy smokes, Martin. You are the moose king, dude. Oh, I love this stuff. Up to him now. Yes. Oh, he's, wow. He's pretty cool, huh? Way cool. Look at that big old two. Moose horn? Look, it's just <laughs> impaled in the mud. Yeah, he is. They seem to like oh, melt nice down with man. the snow. Yeah. Like that. Heck yeah. I, I, I guess I could have missed him, but uh, you got him now. Can you pull him out? Get him, tracker. There we go. Oh. How brown. How cool, man. Yeah, I'm so glad. Probably what? 30, 25 minutes in the hike, maybe? Yeah, not much. With a brown. Still Heck brown yeah. On that side, just a little bleached in the paddle. Dude, but, I love uh, it. Cool. I love it. <laughs> yeah, dude, maybe we should make a couple loops in here yeah no doubt let's try to see what else is up here oh it's been a long time since i found a, a good moose pile guys my goal like i said earlier is to find one if that wasn't standing up you might have just like kept going yeah dude i was just gonna loop right in this brush again hit these manzanitas because i know they like it oh, i love it that is so cool good boy tracker <laughs> hey we friends yet we look moose no. crap all right guys we are now trying to locate martin's other side in this terrain and like i said back there sometimes you never know where moose are going to end up this would be the snowy side of the hill pine trees thick oak this is kind of what we're going to work with but we decided it's going to be worth our time to take a look and to see if we can't match his side up and then who knows you could always find other bulls so look at that mess anyways we're gonna pound some of this oak brush zigzagging and out of this 
these uh, little pine trees and stuff and see what we can turn up. Well, we have had no luck matching up Martin's Brown. So I'd say at this point we've kind of moved on to where we're most likely not going to find it up here, but we're getting way up here. You can see I'm kind of on this south slope and I really, I just worked across the ridge that I'm guessing had a lot of snow. I'm just now getting to the snowy side, but that, that spot right there must have had a ton of snow because you can't see a lot of the tracks in the mud. But I'm guessing, you know what the funny thing is with moose, which I think we have the best potential now to find is moose sheds. They could be anywhere because one, they shed way before any of the other animals. Here's a little rub. Two, they stay in elevation and areas you would never think something that was wintering would. They just kind of are so tall, they're able to almost go wherever they want. So. Even though I don't think this is the best area over here, I'm just curious to at least come check it out for a little while. And if this doesn't produce anything or if the tracks are just looking way slim, I'm going to head back where I just kind of came from and drop a little elevation and see if that's any better. But yeah, no luck since, since Martin's Brown. I have been in moose sign like this all day. Tracks, trails, droppings, beds, and still not one shed, but uh, the hopes are still high. Here's kind of how I've been feeling literally all day. I know we're in shed country. This year, you never know, but at least, you know, something is shed up here in the last three years. So there's more moose. I mean, everywhere you go, moose, moose droppings, look, moose droppings, another one. Another bunch of it but this is how i've been feeling all day i feel like there is a shed on this hill on this canyon i honestly feel like if i just work hard enough grid it tight enough sooner or later i will turn one up it hasn't happened yet but i still have very very high hopes gotta confirm this just a rock so that's kind of where i'm at right now it's just still working i feel like if we work hard Working through some of this stuff, we'll find one. There's a moose right there. Oh, she's not too worried about me. Just walking up the creek bed. She's looked back at me a couple times, but didn't seem to really care. So maybe she's used, used to seeing people. I don't know. Definitely plenty of moose in this country at some point, but I have, I'm yet to find a shed. That was pretty cool. I actually jumped her in the oak brush, and then she just looked at me and started feeding. So I didn't feel too threatened to just kind of walk over here and hang out by her for a minute she went down to the creek then going up the creek bottom which is kind of where i was thinking about going but i might just head across the creek and up to the next south slope so that was cool you always got to be careful around those dang things though especially if they have a young calf i wouldn't have messed around with that thing if it had a calf but it didn't seem to mind me whatsoever so she's going up the canyon i think i'll head this way and fingers crossed for a shed still Holy crap, guys. <laughs> I was standing right here, hit Martin on the radio, took a right, and almost stepped on that dang thing. I did not. Well, I did, but I didn't up this high. I knew we had a chance to find deer, but I didn't think I'd find one this high on a year like this. Look at that. Not a bad deer shed at all. Especially for up here. Looks to be just a really pretty four point. 
Brown, good mass. Too bad he's busted. Beam is busted and so is the G2. Holy smokes. Man, I, I was getting, my hopes were down, but my vote motivation was up. I, I, I've been just like tearing around on this mountain, like going, resting when I need to. I, I stopped and ate a snack, but was not expecting a deer shed. Was really thinking I'd find a moose, if anything, up here, but would be cool to match that thing up. But look at this brush, I mean, like how on earth am I going to find the match to that thing? But you know, I'll try, I'll zigzag and work some of these pine trees and manzanita bush hillside whatever but dang that made the day for me made the day all worth it and all the long hiking well i figured we better do a pickup since this could possibly be the only shed i find all day <laughs> yeah the burr is just a little off it's just different just a really dark antler especially for laying right here on the south slope ever since it was shed it's still got so much color uh, right there especially isn't that cool see how the burr just it doesn't have like a normal burr around it like a, a natural ring around it it's just different who's hard to say what the other side if the other side would have a normal burr or if that's just normal for this buck but it, it just seems a little odd to me but nice buck Nice brown, like I said, I'm gonna just walk around right here for a bit, ditch the backpack, do a couple circles. Martin's waiting for me, and the good news is Martin has, now he has two uh, moose sheds, and they're both brown, that sucker. I'm uh, super jealous. I was just on the radio with him when I found this, so I'm gonna go catch up with him after I make a couple loops and look for the other side of this. I barely noticed that thing move. like a hare you know like a rabbit but not snowshoe hare I don't know it's white looks like it's starting to change color though get right in there he's uh trying to hide out but there's no snow near you little buddy there's snow close by so he did blend in pretty good but he flinched that's what caught my attention what are you doing, little buddy? There he goes. Woo yeah, I'd say it's a snowshoe hare. Did you guys see the size of the back feet on that thing? It must be a snowshoe hare. Do we have those in Utah? I'm not 100% sure, but I am looking through these bushes for deer antler. And uh, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of hard to get excited to try to find the other side, but I'm still working this little zone. Oh yeah, he did find a big brown. Dang, dude. So the one on the right, that's the new one. Yeah. What is it? It's like spider looking. Not a ton of paddle, but some long points. Yeah, he's. Dang, he's dude. Heavy, that's like so this, cool. This guy's. He's like bladed right here. Pretty, pretty girthy. Just a single dagger. What is it? A single raker? Yeah, single dagger. He's way heavier than that first one. Yeah, like if you get the. They're both nice, but like you compare the burrs. Or right. pedicles. Next level stuff. Dude, but, that's cool, man. Yeah, so that's, I was glad I got to match him up. That was, I picked up his other side back in December. It'd be um, cool to put them together. Yeah, so we'll get home. His other side might be a little taller. Mm -hmm. But they're, they're about the same. <laughs> Just I wanted there. one. I still want one so bad. All I've got, look at this. Compare those beasts. But, I mean, look at this is just a mass place. Just produces mass. Yeah, this deer shed's even got above average mass. So Martin's got two. He's actually, like you said, he's got the match to that one at his at house. Yeah. There's still a chance to match that one up. We might might go back and hit it on the way back, but yeah. we're just gonna cruise around together for a minute, and if anything, maybe just go mill around for the match just one more time. But aren't those cool? Question for you guys: Would you rather find? Would you rather find a moose shed or a deer shed? This, I would say like, I would say like this is like average moose, you know? And this is like average buck. Like those two are like a good representation of like their species, you know, for average-ish. Yeah, yeah. And uh, would you rather find a moose shed or a deer shed? Leave us a comment, let us know. 
But we're getting out of here. But isn't that cool? I just love the texture of these dang things. Look at that.